Retail energy markets are the final link in the energy supply chain. Energy retailers buy electricity and gas in wholesale markets, package it with transportation services, and sell it to customers. This is typically the main interface between the electricity and gas industry and customers, such as household and small businesses. Let's take a look at the National Energy Customer Framework. On the 1st of July 2012, the Australian Energy Regulator, AER, assumed responsibility for regulating retail energy markets in those states and territories that had adopted the National Energy Customer Framework, or abbreviated as Customer Framework. The reforms aim to streamline the way that energy retail markets are regulated through a single framework enforced by the AER. The customer framework includes the National Energy Retail Law, National Energy Retail Rules, and National Energy Retail Regulations. Together, these laws and rules set out key protections and obligations for energy customers and the businesses they buy their energy from. As of the 1st of July 2015, the customer framework has commenced in Queensland, New South Wales, the Australian Capital Territory, Tasmania, and South Australia. In states that have yet to adopt the customer framework, states and territory governments remain responsible for regulating retail energy markets. Western Australia and the Northern Territory do not propose to implement the reform. Next, we look at the role of AER in the retail energy markets of Australia. In jurisdictions where the customer framework has commenced, the AER is responsible for number 1. Monitoring and enforcing compliance with obligations in the retail law, rules and regulations. Number 2. Reporting on the performance of the market and energy businesses, including information on energy affordability and trends in disconnection of customers for non-payment of energy bills. Number 3. Assessing applications for national retailers' authorizations from businesses that want to become energy retailers and granting exemptions from the requirement to be authorized. Examples, nursing home and caravan parks that pay for energy and on-sell it to their tenants as part of their normal business. Number four, approving policy energy retailers must implement to assist customers who are facing financial hardships and looking for help to manage the bills. And number five, administering a national retailer of last resort scheme, which protects customers and the market if a retail business fails. The AER does not have a role in selling retail energy prices. Some state and territory governments remain responsible for control of the energy prices customers see on their bills. For example, in Queensland, the ACT and Tasmania, you can ask for a contract with a regulated electricity price where the price is set by government. In Victoria and South Australia, there are no regulated offers or tariff, that is, for electricity or gas, which means that energy retailers set all of their own prices. The AER has developed an energy price comparison website, namely Energy Made Easy, to help customers find the best energy offers for their needs. The AER has released procedures and guidelines for how it undertakes its role under the retail law. It developed these documents in consultation with energy customers, consumer advocacy groups, energy retailers, state and territory agencies, 
investment scheme or other stakeholders. The customer framework also made important changes to the national electricity rules and national gas rules for customers who need to connect their homes or business to the energy network. Next, we look at the history of how was the customer framework developed. The customer framework was introduced after extensive consultation by the Council of Australian Government, that is COAG, Energy Council, that is previously the Standing Council on Energy and Resources. Representatives from Queensland, New South Wales, the Australian Capital Territory, Victoria, Tasmania, and South Australia work together to develop a single set of rules that could be applied across the national energy market. We need to note that Western Australia and the Northern Territory will continue to operate under separate frameworks. The South Australian Parliament passed the National Energy Retail Law, South Australia Act 2011 in March 2011. The retail law is a schedule to that act. The first retail rules and regulations were made by the Governor of South Australia in June 2012. In order for the customer framework to apply, each participating jurisdictions, including South Australia, need to pass its own legislation adopting the retail law rules and regulations. When they do this, a state or territory may choose to change the way that the law or the rules apply, for example, by creating additional or different protections and obligations for customers and businesses in that state or territory. This also means that the customer framework will come into effect on different dates in different states and territories. The AER's new function under the customer framework will start in each jurisdiction from the date the retail law and rules take effect in that jurisdiction. Until then, state and territory governments will remain responsible for regulating retail energy markets. The National Energy Retail Law is Schedule 1 of the National Energy Retail Law Bracket South Australia Act 2011, which can be accessed from the South Australian Attorney General's Department website. You could also access the National Energy Retail Regulations on the same website. The National Energy Retail Rules can be accessed from the Australian Energy Market Commission website, which also contains information on how the retail law, rules and regulations that apply in each jurisdiction can be accessed. Under the National Energy Retail Rules, the AER is required to establish and maintain a Customer Consultative Group CCG. The purpose of the CCG is to provide advice to the AER in relation to its functions under the energy law affecting energy consumers across participating jurisdictions. CCG meetings are held up to three times annually.